sky. I know you can hear me. I need you to do something. Guy, you need to trust me. You need to wake up. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Oh. Hi, Harry. 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 Harry, you there? Come in. Harry. Harry, come back to me when I need you. You bugger, Harry. Come on, Harry, don't, don't do this to me, come on. I'm here. Hermes, you see me make. Come in. Um, Harry, I can't. Harry, I can't understand you. You're, bre you're breaking up too badly. Harry? Well, how do I fix this? Gosh! Come on.
I was taking a, taking a flight over France on my day off, Harry. Where, where the hell do you think I was? Where were you? We thought we'd lost you when we couldn't raise you. <sighs> Don't you dare make us go through that again. You frightened us all enough on this flight. Uh, Harry? Is there... Is Lottie there? Is, is she with you? No, she's not in the room right now, Guy. Um... I think I must be losing oxygen. Harry, Dahl's going crazy. Everything was fine, and then, uh, well, I, I can't remember the last few minutes. What the hell went wrong? How, how do I fix this? Well, take a look at it, Guy. We lost you just before pre-flight. No telemetry was received from Hermes till the system's rebooted. Graham and the team are going through everything as quickly as they can to solve this, to find out what's gone awry. There aren't too many options, Guy. I've never seen Graham move so fast. <laughs> He's breaking a sweat. You'd be impressed. I need you to give us details, Guy. Guy, be specific. All right, but I, I don't fully know specifics. Uh, suit vented oxygen. Left me nothing to breathe. I, uh... I think, I, I think I blacked out. Um, well, how long did you lose me for? We had no indication down here that you blacked out. Doc, you reading this? What does medical say? Harry? Uh, hold on, guy. We'll, we'll get an answer for you. What? Harry, don't, don't, don't tell me to hold. Not now. Three minutes. Harry, it felt longer than three minutes. I, I've lost half my oxygen. I just, I just had to fix the suit's electrical circuits. That is, if it worked. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't tested it. Actually, I don't know if I can test it up here. Uh, can you? We'll check the diagnostics. How the hell did the suit fail? Hmm? Thought you chaps meant to test for these things? I wouldn't want to guess. Not until the team had finished trawling through the readouts. Okay. Uh, can you work faster? I'm uh, struggling to breathe a bit. Harry, chest feeling really tight. Two, two, one. But I'm, I'm currently only breathing the oxygen in the capsule, Harry. We know, Guy, but that's not going to be enough. It's not designed for long-term life support without the suit. I'm not intending to be up there that long. We need to get you more oxygen. Take it easy. Slow breaths. Graham's checking the circuit. Hopefully you fixed it. For the moment, just breathe easy. Calm and slow. Calm and slow. You are missing this view, Harry. Beautiful. 
see everything. Every cloud, every river, every city alike with life and color. Oh, please, do keep on rubbing it in. I will. Right until the moment you punch me. <laughs> Sounds about right. Well, I know you like to slack off, but how about you shoot some film for us? As you have that beautiful view to look at, actually do some work up there. We are looking forward to developing those high altitude shots you've been taking. Uh, six minutes down, four to go. Good. Take what you can, but don't waste it. You know, it's a shame, Harry. If you hadn't changed your mind, gone back to your desk job after all those years of being a, a kerosene jockey, you could have been the one up here. Oh, not a shame. Not a shame at all. I just lost faith in what we were doing and who we were doing it for. I do miss the Americans' RB-45s. What a wonderful large bird. And how is the wife? <laughs> I see you haven't lost your sense of humour up there. That was always the one thing I couldn't shift. What do you expect? Bad influence like you around? You know what your problem is, Taylor, old boy? You never could take orders from someone unless you respected them and believed in the cause. And that, my friend, is why today you're up there having all the fun and I'm down here. It's certainly not fun now. Turns out today isn't my day. You know, I'd rather be flying the 45s again with you. Mm, maybe without the Americans telling us what to do. Looking forward to a gin and tonic in the bar when you get me back. It's a deal. Uh, Harry? Yes, Guy? Uh, is there a chance I could speak with Lottie again? You spoke with her a few hours ago. You'll have to wait till you land. Don't worry, Guy. Well, keep me updated. Six hours. 130 miles up, four times around the world. That's enough for me. Hermes, this is Graham. How are you, Taylor? Oh, I'm, I'm splendid. Graham, I'm uh, just waiting for you to tell me how to get home. I've been watching everything carefully, but need you to confirm a few readings for me before we start. Roger that. We're just going through the diagnostics now. It's showing oxygen is at 19 still. 1-9, is that correct? Uh, correct. Good. That seems to be holding steady now. Now, the fuel level. It says uh, 30, figures 3-0. That's correct. Telemetry is telling me that you are a 10 degree lean port. Can you correct it? Uh, oh, Graham, there's, uh, there's no response on the control stick. Ah, right. Um, hold, please. Uh, no, Gra uh, Graham, don't tell me to hold. If there's a problem, then, pl um, then uh, just tell me. Just put my wife back on, Harry. I can't. Please, please put it back on. Not right now. But we'll try and get her here. Guy, do me a favor. Check out your flight manual, page 24.
I'm going up. You got through? I did. Harry said yes, so it's me. Oh, I'm so happy for you. For us, Lottie. This is for us. This is the beginning of something big. I don't think you know how much. I know. I've always known. The first British man in space. The first man in space. Five years as a test pilot. And I'm here at the frontier of science and technology. I'm going up. It's going to be a tough few months. I know it is, Kitten, but you are up to it. You know how tough it was when the Americans had you flying over Eastern Europe. I'll be here with you, by your side. Trust me. Now tell me everything. I want to know. The launch is scheduled for December 4th. It's a one-day trip. So you'll be home in time for Christmas, Mr. Spaceman? <laughs> yes. Guy. Guy. You find it? Yeah, I, I did. When did you put this on here, Harry? That would be telling. A man has to have his secrets. Well, you, you are full of them. Thank you. I'll be home soon. Yes, you will. <laughs> Bye. Mm. It's time. <laughs> We're ready to go here after your checks. Three minutes to window. Roger that. Frosters to auto mode. Check. Power control to auto. Check. Reserve system off. Check. Gyro stabilizers off. Check. Suit oxygen. On. Check. Oh, God. 
What's wrong with him is I... Oh my... Head splitting, Harry. Oxygen's still at 90... 19. Oh no, I'm not feeling right. <laughs> Can't think straight. If you thought pulling a 9G loop was bad, Harry, you <laughs> have a go on this. I feel like I just got off the bloody waltzes. <laughs> I can't see. Relax for a moment. <clears throat> Take the time you need to sit and think. The O2 in the compartment will be enough for a short while. Sure. Uh, how long? How long is a short while, Harry? Hmm? Taylor, it's Graham. Uh, hello, Graham. What exactly does your fuel readout say up there? Uh, saying t t 22 figures. Two two. No, no, uh, Graham. No, it's. It's reading 20. Um, what else happened up there, Taylor? Well, I can't... You know what, Graham? You tell me. Just get me down from here, fellas. Harry? Harry, what about that, uh, that re-entry window? How much time do we have left? It's already gone, Guy. No. No, Harry. No, you said that. We can't bring you down just yet. Not until we find out what's wrong with the capsule, how it happened, and how to fix it. <sighs> That's not good enough, Harry. I... Understood. I'm going to take you off the school box, so it's just me. Guy, it's just me now. Huh. Harry? Harry, what's going on? What, what are you not telling me? We're uh, not really 
sure what to say at the moment. Harry, mate, come on. It's me. What's going on? You know procedure, the way this works. We can't bring you down, not after this. Not yet. We're trying everything we can, I assure you. Oh, clearly whatever you're doing is not good enough. And none of this should have happened. No, but it has. <sighs> we are fixing it. Everyone here is working to get you back here safe and sound. Harry, the problem is up here. It's not down there. I don't see how you can. What do you mean? One minute, guy. Do it. Is that the way you do it? Listen, guy. Graham's going to talk you through a procedure we need you to do right now. Uh, yes, roger that. Listen to me carefully. Our systems report you have a fuel leak. Your port thruster has failed. It's probably damaged. The diagnostics appear to indicate the control circuits are still functional, so we can only presume it's some form of physical damage. Physical damage? We need you to shut off the valve to that thruster. No, Graham, what do you that mean physical damage? The problem and keep what is remaining Graham, in the you're tank. not listening to... Physical damage? How the hell did a thruster fail? Have you sent me up here with anything that isn't fucked? We have our best men going through your telemetry now. Hermes has a million and one parts. This is cutting-edge British technology. It really could be anything. An overload is always on the cards. Oh, an overload? Just an overload? Is it just a fucking overload, Graham? That's my fuel supply! First my bloody oxygen, and now my sodding fuel! Guy, you need to trust us. We have a fix. We need you to affect that fix quickly. All right. All right. <clears throat> All right. What do you want me to do? The panel is down to your left. There are four valves. The second one along is for the port thruster. Close it down. Graham, it's not... It hasn't worked, it's not working. Give it a moment. Okay, all right. It's, uh... It's t yeah, it's reading 15. Uh, figures. One, five. Well, is that enough to get me home? For re-entry? Chaps! It will be enough. <laughs> Bloody hope so. What does your oxygen readout say? It's, uh... Saying 14. Figures 1-4. So what do I do now? How do I get back? Harry, Harry, Harry! Say again, say again. Sorry, I lost you there for a minute. You, you were breaking up. Hey, can you hear me? We're working up the flight. Harry! Put the up there, God, Harry, is there someone else on the radio? Someone else? No, there's no one else here. Well, I can hear someone else talking. Guy, who? What can I hear? Uh, can you hear me? I can now, just about, but... Um, I'm losing you, Harry. Hold on. Ben. Ben. Uh, Harry. Listen, Harry. Harry, can you hear that? Do you hear that? Guy, is everything all right? No. <laughs> Someone else is on the radio. Guy. Guy, can you hear me? Harry. Harry. 
Harry, listen, I can I can hear somebody else on the radio that, and I can't understand them. I, I think it's Russian. Guy, did you say Russian? I, well, I, I think so. I, no, no. Ah. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to anyone. Don't stop the Russian. Harry? Harry? Harry, Harry? Hello? Come back, Harry. Harry? Finningdales? Finding girls, this is Hermes. Uh, Finding girls, this is Hermes. Please respond. Finding girls. Finding girls, this is Hermes. Please respond. Harry? Graham? Please come in. Um, Finding Dales. No, I can't hear you, but but uh, maybe you can hear me. So I'm I'm uh, I'm going to keep talking. Um. Listen, there's a lot of uh, interference in radio chatter that, that I can't understand, and I think, I think it's maybe Russian. Now, what did you, what did you mean, don't trust them? Well, how, how come they're getting through now, and you can't? I don't know what to do to get you back on the wire, all right? So, if you're receiving this, find, find a way of getting back to me. I'm stuck up here now, and I've uh, missed the re-entry window, but, uh, but my oxygen is, is down to 14%. So what the, what the hell am I supposed to do? It's beautiful, Lottie. It is. In three days, you will be in Australia waiting for your launch window. I'll be here, waiting for you to return. Watching this very view every day till you come back and tell me everything. I'm never going to leave you again after this. You'll be sick of me in no time. You need not worry so much, Guy. I'll be fine. Well, I'm not worrying. Not yet. <laughs> yes, you are. Stay focused on what you have to do. Don't worry about me till after you come home. It's important you come home. We need you to come home. If ever you're in danger, or if anything goes wrong, you do whatever you have to do to get back. Don't be stubborn. Let people help you. If you are going to look at this view, so will I. All you have to do is look out. When the sun shines on you, it shines on me too. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Idiot.
Maar ze hebben het anders. Sound like it. Not exactly filling me with much confidence. Was it heat expansion? Huh? You're warming up again in the sun. How lovely for you. Well, listen, the sooner you get a star. Sooner we don't have any more noises like that, huh? What? What? How do you have this frequency? Put me back through to filing girls. Get off the comms. No, I, I, I can't understand you. I, can you understand me? Hello? Can you hear me down there? Look, I, I haven't been able to understand a word. Not a single bloody word. I, I don't speak Russian. No Russian. No. No. No? No, no what? No understand? No understand? I, I... I... No... Understand... Russian. Please speak English. Is there anyone there who's, who can speak English? English? You English? Yes. You must leave Russian territories now. You must abort your orbit immediately. Failure to comply will be treated as an act of aggression. You are orbiting on a restricted course, Commander Tyler. How do you know my name? We hear you. Your secret is not so well kept. You must comply now. Leave Russian airspace. You give us no option but to take action uh, first. Look, who are you? What, what, have you, what have you done with the Filingdales? Are you, are you jamming them? Filingdale, Commander Tyler. Perhaps you are out of the range for them. How do you have this frequency? We track all radio frequencies, especially those over Russian territory, especially those that threaten the USSR. Uh, I'm not over Russia. But you are, Commander Tyler. Although, slightly higher. How do you know who I am? Bloody answer me. Where do you think you are? What, right now? Hell? Do not treat me like some fool, Commander. We have been tracking you for past few hours. Orbiting Earth in a small capsule of some sort. We tracked your lunch from Woomera, Australia. We did not know what you were till now. We packed up your radio comms. This is your fifth time orbiting around the planet. This time you have deviated from your previous course. Why? Uh, no, I'm... No, I'm not off my course. No, I'm, I'm just trying to get home. Uh, I'm just trying to, trying to get back to Britain. That's my mission. That's that's my only mission. Now, unless unless you can help with that, and uh, please leave leave the frequency free. The British are not capable of such feat. 
We're concerned, Commander. What is your intention, your origin, and payload? Uh, I am British, actually. As for payload, I don't have... I'm, I'm the payload. Lying will not help you. What is your mission? Are you spying for the Americans? <laughs> Americans? You have help from Americans, no? We do not think British would be capable of this. Oh, you know, I'm going to I'm going to take that as a compliment. You now do what they cannot. I must warn you, Commander. We will retaliate with force. We shall not stand for this deception over Russian territories. Look, I'm... Gosh, I'm not over Russia! You are not where you are supposed to be. All right, all right. Then where am I? Your current orbital position is above Tunguska, northern Russia. Now, how can I believe what you tell me when, when you won't believe me? You can't. Huh. But, um... If what you're saying is true, then, uh, then I have a problem. Yes, Commander. You do. How could I get so far, of course? You tell us, Commander. Right, I need to get back. Now, will you help me? I do not see how we can. Well, I need to talk to my engineers at Filingdales. And I, I lost contact with them when you came through, but maybe you could, uh, maybe you could patch me through to them? Put me back in touch? No. This is not possible. Well, please do something. No. This is not possible. I cannot do this. My superiors would have me shut for doing what you ask. They are ready on their way here to talk to you. Uh, now listen to me. You... I will not be able to communicate for long. You seem to be uh, uh, a logical uh, military type, yes? More than a, f a few years' experience in, uh, in what, in the, in the army? So you know that I'm just doing my job up here. You, well, you must have seen things. You, you must have been places you weren't meant to have been. I'm suffering major malfunctions. I don't know what state this ship is in. I'm going to need help to fix the capsule, but the longer I stay up here, the less my chances of survival. I just, I just want to get back home. And that's all. Home. Do you understand? And the only way for me to do that is, is for you to help me. Now, now will you do that? I cannot help you. Is that cannot or will not? You're the only one that can help you. No one else. It's your choice, Commander. And I don't know how to fix this! You must do. Well, I don't! Commander, you have already surprised us by doing what you've done. It is something no one else in the world has been able to do, and seemingly without any help of your beloved allies. Uh, well... You must know. We... Uh... Uh, we aim, we aim high. Too high, by the looks of it. Oh. Oh, Harry? Harry, where are you, man? Come on, I need you to fix this. I need a plan, I need a plan. Are you alright, Tyler? Uh, n no, not, not really. I'm, I'm feeling a little... I'm feeling a little disorientated. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, c I can't, um... <sighs> Commander? Commander? Yes, yes! Yes, I'm here. Take some rest. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I have to get back. I, I really don't have time. How long since you last slept? Uh... About 28 hours or so? Maybe you should try now. Oh no, I've uh, I've gone long without sleep. Um...
tell me your name? Karnov. It's nice to finally meet you, Karnov. What do you do if you can't get back? I just... Well, I don't, I don't want to think about that. No, I, I, have, I have to get back. I, uh, uh, I just have to. Your excursion has attracted a lot of unwanted attention, not only from Turet. You can be assured others will know also. Many people, many nations will not allow you to succeed. You do not belong. You are not meant to do this. Your journey was a secret. This is the way it will stay. They will be sure that it is. Goodbye. What? What? You're what? What, do you, what do you mean? Ah. Oh. Karnov? Karnov? Karnov, what do you mean? Hello? Ka No, Lottie, you're right. I, uh... I just need to stay focused. You need to focus, guy. Give me the flight corrections. So twenty second burn. Uh, 12 degree pitch. That's what it comes down to. Power reserve shut off. ASCS AUX. Uh, dynamic pressure on. And landing bag off. Off. On. Uh, rear section breakaway bolts primed and valves closed down. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking hell. Um. Ah, oh, Harry. I've, um. I just killed my last chance to get home, Harry. Uh, I would have, I would have put Hermes at the wrong angle. Been incinerated. Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Thank you. 
Oh, shit. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh, you know what, Hermes? I can tell by the red flashing light something's wrong. You don't have to shriek at me with that fucking piercing noise as well. The only purpose that will serve is for me to open this door and end it all, all right? What am I the problem. Traffic. So. So, uh, that one did. No, that's not. That's not doing it. What have we got?
please. Oh, oh please don't go. Don't go. Uh. I can't I copy. Hello, who's Who's that? Uh, please respond. Uh. Ah. I, no, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Fine, Dave. Tayo Tam? This is Hermes. This is Hermes, come in. Uh, Harry? Hello? Hermes, this is the United States calling. Are we reaching you? Hermes, please respond. This is the United States. Are you receiving me? Uh, the United States? Hermes. We were not sure we could reach you. Uh, I'm here. I copy. Um, who, who am I talking to? Hold your horses there, boy. What do I call you, Hermes? You have a name? Yes, I have a name. So do you? Hermes, we've been aware of your course for some time now. You've given us all a surprise down here. The boys at NASA have been calling us all day. Give us your name and the purpose of your mission. Uh, no, you know the protocol. Identify yourself. Uh, and, uh, and you're interested in me. I'm Agent Mike Spann, CIA. Hermes, we know you're experiencing problems. We may be able to assist you. Uh, assist, assist me how? You've got to give me something first. Name and mission, Hermes. All right, well, uh, I assumed you would have known that I'm, I'm Commander Guy Taylor. Everybody else seems to. Uh, this is a, a planned British mission, though as you can probably tell, not everything's going according to plan. And the circumstances have got in the way of us exploring our reach. That reach is seemingly taking you far off course, Taylor. <laughs> uh, look, I've lost contact with my uh, engineers at Filingdales. Anything you chaps down there can do to put me back in touch with them, well, well it'll, uh, it'll be a warm beer on me. <laughs> we'll try to do what we can, when we can. When you... And I, I'm, I'm afraid I, I need assistance now. Look, the chaps at Filingdales will be able to answer any questions you might have about me or my mission. Why are you in such a hurry, Taylor? Every minute I'm up here is, uh, is a minute far too long. I'm running out of oxygen. So I, I may not be able to speak to you for too much longer. And, uh... Well, well, Hermes is damaged, so I'm, I'm not sure how bad it is. Did you say damaged? What's damaged? Well, I d how much air do you actually have left? Well, I don't, I don't know what's uh, what's damaged exactly. I, I can't get to some of the circuits. I'm down to uh, down to six percent oxygen. After that, there's nothing. And my port thrusters damaged too, so uh, I had limited maneuverability so I, I can't maneuver Hermes and I, I may I may well have drifted off course now over US territories what r r right now uh, yes possibly I, I really can't tell we understand you've been making new friends why have you been talking to the Russians sorry we have been monitoring your communications and you were and have been speaking with the Russians uh, no, they spoke to me. Same difference. <laughs> well, I, I beg to differ. They wanted to chase me out of their airspace. Is that all they wanted? What? Well, you intercepted the transmissions. Translate them yourself. As you'd expect. We're already working on that. Perfect. Why aren't you in contact with the British? Are you a commie, Taylor? It's been a few <laughs> years since I hunted commies. A commie? Are you... Do, do, do I have to remind you that I'm a British officer? I'm an ally. I'm just trying to get back home. So you were being helped by the Russians? You know, I wouldn't say helped. No, they were worse than useless. Rather like you, now. But I don't like your line of questioning. Look, Taylor. We're on 
refer to what your intentions actually are. Especially as, uh, according to this, you used to spy for us. You were part of our inner circle. We know everything about you, Taylor. I've just been handed your file. Oh, and I have a picture of you and your lovely wife here. She is beautiful. You worked for us spying over Russia in 54, did you not? Handpicked as well. You obviously have some skill in the air. How did you find flying our RB-45? Nice aircraft, aren't they? Bit heavy on the rudder, I found, although I haven't had as many hours in them as you. According to your file, on several occasions, you flew over Russia on photo reconnaissance sorties for us on Operation Jiu-Jitsu. Our records indicate 16 times. And by my reckoning, that's impressive you weren't shot down. Look, what I did for you guys in 1954 is long over. And anyway, I only did what my superiors ordered me to because your pilots didn't want to risk their own bloody asses. But sure, Taylor, you understand why we are a little worried about you talking to the Russians. You seem to be making a habit of talking to anyone but your own people. Are you fraternizing with the enemy? What? No. We are at war, Mr. Taylor. No, we're not. No one's at war with anyone. Well, certainly not me up here. What the hell is wrong with you? Don't you read the papers over there in England? We're all at war with the Russians. How can we trust you, Limey? Your mission is still unclear to us. I would be inclined to suggest that your intentions towards the United States could be considered as hostile and therefore will be treated as such. Hostile? Are you pulling my leg? Pulling your what now? No, hostile action is the, last, is the last thing on my mind. I just want to get home. I, I just need to know how to first. Now that's my intention. I, I, I promise you that's my, that's my only intention. Did you share these intentions with the Russians? Oh, forget about the fucking Russians! Have you made contact with Filingdales? I'm not at liberty to discuss communications. What? Even with my own people? <sighs> it's getting bloody cold in here. Why would that be? I, uh, I, I had to sacrifice my heaters to get back control. I see. Then it will get real cold, real quick. Agent Span. I need you to help me. I'm down to 5% oxygen. And with the malfunctions, I don't know how long that will last. If you don't, the most likely outcome is that I crash land in your back garden. Was that meant as a threat, Taylor? <laughs> Of course not, I was so bloody paranoid. It's not a threat. It's just a... It's a reality that will come true if, if I don't initiate re-entry procedure and go back in touch with filing deals. We would have hoped that Britain would have shared this mission with us. <coughs> For crying out loud, <coughs> you launched a man into space. Oh, uh, well, <coughs> you can't, can't always get what you want, can you? You feeling okay, Taylor? <laughs> you, you, you almost, you almost sound concerned. I am concerned. <laughs> we believe the combination of lack of air and your dancing coldness will almost certainly affect your capabilities. So how's about concentrating for me, will you? I am concentrating. Not as I sensibly can.
you get home, we find out the truth, everyone wins. Are you there, Taylor? Um, I'm here, just. You have an answer for me, Mr. Taylor? Let me speak with Harriet, find out. No, I can't do that. I have to talk to Harry. Uh, that's my condition. Without that, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm unwilling to, to accept your offer. We can affect a safe re-entry. As far as I can tell, you do not have any further options. It's time to get off the fence and do something. You are either with us or against us. <laughs> Which is it, Taylor? You haven't exactly left me much choice. All right, where do you want me to land? Atlantic Ocean. One of our Navy craft, the USS Bory, will meet you there. She's already been deployed to the area. She'll be there to pick you up when you splash down. So what, what happens now? I'm going to put you through to one of my colleagues over at NASA, Bob Elijah. He's eager to talk to you about some calculations he has run to work your problem. And that's, that, that's it? Of course, Taylor. Now I have your insurance, you're going to do what I ask. Mm. Good luck. Hermes, this mm. is Houston. Are you receiving me? Houston, Houston, this is, this is Hermes. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm receiving you. Mm. Bob, is it? Yes, yes it is. Nice to meet you, Commander Taylor. Oh, uh, Guy, please, uh, please call me Guy. Copy that. <laughs> I've been advised I will be taking you through the procedure for the re-entry based on the calculations I've made. I'm not quite up to speed with the Hermes design. Uh, there will be a few assumptions on my part, so please forgive me. Roger that. Uh, wh wh what do you need me to do? Let's start with your fuel levels, Guy. Uh, they're reading... Ten figures one zero. All right, noted. I'm on four percent oxygen, Bob. Can we speed this up a bit? Uh, it's getting rather cold in here. All right, I'll try to cut this down to the bare minimum. Roger that. Everything from here on out will be time critical. Right, understood. Pitch angle, minus four, six, six. Uh, Roll angle, minus one, two, point, three, two, one. Yaw, nine, point, four, one, eight. Burn one minute, ten seconds. Pitch minus one, one, three, burn for 60 seconds. Uh, roger that. Um. Are you sure I should be planning to burn for 60 seconds, Bob? You have a problem with that? Uh... I don't know. I... No, no, you know, it, 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 it all seems to be in order. Taylor, are you ready? All on my mark. 20 seconds. <sighs> Roger that. Initiating 60 degrees starboard roll. You need to lock down the thrusters. The tracking data looks good, guy. I I'm at the correct orientation. Guy, that's perfect. Now, on my mark. 10 second burn in three. Two, one.
Coming, coming, Bob. Look, you can see me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Bob. Listen, hello. Hello. You're breaking up, Bob. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Russian saw me, Harry, and they weren't too pleased. I, I, th I think they, they, they may even have, have, have attacked me with something. God knows what. Where are you now? What are you doing? I've, I've started re-entry procedure, and, and, the, and the Americans, the Americans helped me. The Americans? Get out of my way. What? Charlotte? No, no, no. Honey, let me through. What are you doing? I'm allowed to be here. You can't be in here right now. You have to go. go. Charlotte, <laughs> you have to leave. Get out of here. No, no, Harry. You let us speak. Please, mate, let her, let her be here. Just, just let her be here, just, just for a moment. No, I, 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 won't, I won't take long, I, I promise. I, I, just, I just need to, I need to speak to her. I, I, I need to hear her, please. Fine, but just a moment. You've got one minute. I'm, I'm worried. Are you all right, guys? I can hear you breathing heavily. Lottie, Lottie darling, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I, I'm, I'm all right. I'm fine. You know, th things have been better, but, uh, but, 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 but but please don't worry. I am with you, God. I always with you. Oh, you're going to make me cry, Lottie. Sorry. No, 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 no. no don't, don't be. I've, I've, I've waited far too long to hear your voice. I need you. I need you too. I've pictured you. You know. I've pictured, I've pictured your face. You, you, you've been here with me. You, you've been here the whole time, by my side. Naughty, darling. I can do this. Now, now Harry will tell you that, that I'm coming home. Won't you, mate? Naughty, Naughty, you know that I love you. I love you too. Goodbye. No. Not goodbye. Never goodbye. Just, I'll see you soon. Guy, are you there? Where did they say you're going to land? Uh, you know, uh, the, the Atlantic somewhere, I don't, I don't know. They said the, uh, uh, the, the, the USS uh, Bory. The USS Bory's going to come and pick me up. Atlantic? You're over Russia right now. No, 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 that's wrong, Harry. I, I, must, I must be over the Atlantic somewhere. Harry? I've been on the wire with the Americans since we lost you. You can't have been speaking with them. Oh, God. I, I, I think I'm entering the atmosphere. Guy? Guy, can you hear me? <sighs> Guy, say it again. Who have you been talking to? Guy, who have you been talking to? Guy, can you hear me? Guy, are you there? Guy, please come in. Can you hear me? Петрухин, полковник уже прибыл? Так точно, прибыл. Больно. Целый день вы Оставьте сообщение, я 
все передам. Да-да. Да-да, конечно. Майор Басаев. Нина, Аня. Где полковник? Он на втором этаже. Он не в духе. Он всегда не в духе. Что ему сказали? Ничего не сказали. Все ждали вас. Ясно. Дело у вас? А, Аня, передай майору копию документов. Конечно. О, пожалуйста. Спасибо, Аня. Да, Макарова, возьми эту катушку, отнеси в зал и подготовь к просмотру. Да, сейчас. Полковник Десятков. Майор. Как прошла ваша поездка? Тяжелая и неприятная, не хотел бы повторить. Понял. У вас есть какие-то ответы для меня? Да, пройдемте. Наши работали с утра до вечера после находки. Я должен сказать, что, я думаю, мы добились определенного прогресса на этом проекте. И какие новости? Мы переслушали все записи, и там немало. Он разговаривал с многими. И кажется, что в том числе с одним из наших радистов. Вы уже начали переводить? Да, Алеев слушает сейчас. Он должен иметь перевод вскоре. Сколько у вас еще времени нужно? Он должен закончить в любую минуту. А фильм? А вот это вы захотите увидеть. Пожалуйста. Пройдемте, Покажите. я веду в этот зал. Майор. Да. Это вам. Спасибо. Пускай. Андрей, включай. Алеев. Меня сейчас ударит. Сейчас меня врежется. Сейчас врежется. С кем он говорит? Я не знаю. Мы не можем понять, кто у него на связи. Он с ума сошел, что ли? Я думаю, он говорит на самописец. Он сказал, проклятая американская капсула. Американская? Да, полковник. Он думает, что они это сделали специально, да? Так похоже, полковник. Мы обманули его, что мы американцы. Это гораздо лучше, чем я думал. Прямо на путь американских тестов. Это намного лучше. Но это, это! Дальше. Геймс серьезно, серьезно поврежден. Все приборы зашкаливают. Аварийные огни включены. Слишком поздно. Ничего не могу сделать. Две них стоят атмосферы. Не могу остановить корабль. Он падает. Что? Что не так? Я не могу остановиться. Ничего не происходит. Мой парашют не раскрывается. Мне страшно, Лоти. Мне... И это все? Дурак. Почему он поверил нам? Он всегда был таким. Упрямый и безрассудный. Черты, что догнали его до смерти. А его операции никто не узнает. Мы можем использовать то, что я узнала. 
i primenitur atropotki i kem mesër në ashtë më projekëtja. A të praf rezultate fë krastë? Ina, shto të i budisht dhe o së qasë? Lorë të zakonë që vësë. Shto më një dalë që i të letë. Zedi. Ina, pa gofnik pa pëse u mene të be pëllidat. Thank you. Shto në bëdishu? Be the bad one for the good fight. 
Yeah, this is the good fight But not for me, not for you, not for us No matter how I try I can't see what is true, what is false I'm being the bad one But look at everything we have become Walking into the night for the good